Hey, 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 it's Ultrasonic, and welcome to a different kind of video. Now, you may be asking, why am I here? This looks like a church. Well, it is, because, um, I tr I want to be a light to people, and I'm just going to be going more to death than that throughout the rest of the video. Now, today, I'm going to be talking about the, Mex the Mexico trip that I went off my youth group. And basically, what we did is we went to Mexico, and we built some houses there and we did some work at the orphanage and it it felt really good and it was very life changing for me and for most of the people who went. Now, uh the trip itself, just some information about the trip, it was around seven hundred dollars and yeah, we went there to like work, as I said before. And how's it life changing? Well for me, it made me realize a few things about myself and how I think. For once, um, when I was going there, all the kids there at the orphanage, they had barely anything to live on. Like, they maybe had a few stuffed animals that I saw, but that's it. They didn't have that much, which was really sad. But when I was going there, I was expecting them to be all sad and, like, kind of upset. <laughs> but in reality, when I went there, they were all happy and joyful. And, like, just really pleased with their life. And that really surprised me in a big way. Because, I guess, I've always I've always known that, like, money doesn't bring happiness, because it doesn't. But I guess in the back of my mind, I really did think that. Which is kind of, yeah, just made me, just kind of a big eye-opener there in that department. Yeah. And another thing. <laughs> the boats. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, and what was the other thing? Oh, I'm, I'm distracted now. It was, oh yeah, that's right. The, the actual working part, like, it made me realize another thing about myself, and about, and about all, a lot of us, and it's that whenever I'm asked to do something like walking, like, around the house, I usually, like, I'm usually just like, oh, really, I, I really want, just want to, like, do something else other than working, because working is really dumb and it's boring. But like, when I was there, and I was working basically the entire day, I was never like that. And I think it was because that like, I knew that I was doing it for the Lord and for other people. And speaking of that, um, there was a Bible verse there that we had to memorize, and it was... Uh, I forget what the actual... What it is, I have it right here. It was something in Corinthians, I think. Yeah, it was Colossians three twenty three to twenty four. Whatever you are doing, work at it with great enthusiasm, as to the Lord and not for people, because you know that you will receive your inheritance from the Lord as the reward. Serve the Lord Christ. So basically, what that's saying is, well, it just kind of summed it up right there, and it's that. Whenever you're walking, like, for someone, you don't do it for them, like, that sounds mean, but you should be doing it for the Lord, and that will make you kind of, you know, not so grumbling and complaining, because His Spirit is going through you. And I really felt that, and a lot of us there felt that, because I noticed that I don't think I saw anyone there during the trip who was walking with a bad heart or with just a really grumbling heart. Everyone there was just really happy and they felt good walking and helping others. And what we did there actually is, first of all, we built two foundations for two houses and the houses there were sadly really small. Like, it just made me felt so bad for the people who were living there because they had hardly had anything. But, yeah, and um, we built two foundations, and another cool thing is when we built the foundations, um, is, well, when we looked around, those how the houses there, and those houses were houses that we built previously through the other Mexico trips, and, like, it was really cool, because it showed that, like, the work that we were doing right now, someone's actually going to live in the houses that we built, maybe, like, next year, when we come back next year, they're going to be done, and people are going to be living in them. And that's just really cool, I think. 
That is so cool what, what we're doing. So, yeah, and and like most of the time I was at the work sites. I really wasn't at the orphanage helping much because I just like the work sites better, I guess. And what we did is we made cement out of sand, rocks, and um, concrete. We had a cement mixer and the guys there got really dirty. And there was two guys there. I think it was um, it was Zane, and I think the other guy was Jason. <laughs> they were they they were working on the cement for the longest time and looked really dirty and really exhausted. But then, like after lunch, they just started getting really enthusiastic and started trying s talking like pirates and pretending that the cement mixer was a cannon. They were putting gunpowder in the cannon. <laughs> it was pretty funny, but that got them working. And, like, yeah, everyone there was just really, really working good. And even the pastor the, himself said that he was happy with us and what we were doing. And at the orphanage, they did a lot of work there. Like, a lot. There was this, I only did one thing at the orphanage, though. It was painting the fence. And it was, like, with paint that was kind of made out of tar and it was weird. But yeah, what we did is we kind of scraped off the rust the best we can to kind of smooth it out. Then we painted it over black. And some of the stuff the guys did at the orphanage was um, Todd's tile team. Um, they went to the bathrooms and they tiled the floors and cleaned it all up. And they said there was poop and stuff. It was really gross. But they did it anyway. And they also, and they also put in new toilets. And they put up a fence. They put up ceiling fans and um they also made a an installed a computer and i have this great story here that my brother happened to my brother he was working in the orphanage and he was just he was painting a room for this one family and the room was really small it was if this room right here was in real life it would it would probably be half the size around he said that it was pretty small, and I looked at the rooms, and they were really small. And, like, the family there didn't really have anything. And my brother there, Josiah, um, he was painting the wall, the room with some other people and helping. And he, like, did really fast because the family was coming. And the pastor was just kind of saying, okay, go fast, they're coming soon. In, like, a few hours, she had to get that done quickly. And after it was finished, he said the paint job they did wasn't that good because they kind of... Messed it up a little bit because they're going so fast. But, like, when the mom walked in, she started crying because she was so happy. She was so happy that she, like, even though it was just a very bad paint job, she was so glad that she got something done for free. And, like, it was, it was complete for free. And she felt really blessed. And that just, that story really moved me and especially moved my brother who happened to him. And yeah, it's just, it's just really, really excellent what we, what we did there. The work we did would, would have been thousands and thousands of dollars because the the money you had to pay to, just to get on the trip was about $775. It was a lot, and like 80, 80, 72 of us went, so if you like do the math there, that's a lot of money. Because a lot of money needed to buy the materials. So it was thousands and thousands of dollars to do what we did. And we gave it to them for free. And that just really blessed them. And I'm just really glad that we got to do that. And I can't wait until next year so I can come again. And just hanging out with the kids there. They all, Everyone there spoke Spanish, of course, because it's Mexico. So I didn't really understand any of it because I don't speak Spanish. I know like five words maybe. So, but you don't really need to know Spanish there. I kind of discovered you can just kind of play with the kids and they will still enjoy it. That's what, that's what a lot of us did. And a few of us there did know Spanish and it did communicate pretty well. But the ones that didn't, like me and like maybe 90% of the rest of us, still had a great time. And so did the kids. Speaking of the kids, we gave them bikes. And they really enjoyed that. We also gave them like, some balls too. And that was just... Just everything that we did felt really 
good and that I, I knew that we were doing it for the Lord and like like just like the first that I spoke a few minutes ago Colossians 3.23 yeah it's just really moving I feel and um let's see let's look at my notes right here oh yeah right for the viewers out there who's watching this video um who may not be Christians or may not even be religious at all are probably wondering why am I doing this on my channel that this is pretty weird well it's just because well to get more into depth into it I might be a little rusty because this is my first time um but um okay this is for newcomers the things that you that we are doing in our everyday life sin basically like when you think of a bad thought about someone or just stuff like that just the little things in life you may think that they're harmless and that they're nothing well they're not they're actually really big each one of the sins or just as big as another. So God said that thinking, hang, saying someone is the same thing as killing them. Because all the sins are the same. It's kind of like when you're looking at a city and you see all the skyscrapers and they're all different sizes. Like think of that if each sin being different size. Small being the, the sins that you see small and big being like murder. But to God, um, if he looks at the top of the city, and everything looks the same, everything is the same, so, every sin that we do is just as bad as the next. And what do we do about it? Well, there's a lot of religions out there that try to walk, try to do walks to get to heaven, and try to do some other stuff, so they can kind of pay back the sin, but... We do it so much that there's no, there's no way. You, you can't. The only way we can is to just do this, okay? It's to ask God for forgiveness. And to ask Him to forgive us of our sinful selves in our nature. And that we may, so then we may be with Him when we die. And we won't go into the other place. Oh yeah, of course. This this symbol right here, this whole entire symbol. Well, what does it mean? This is again going to be for the newcomers, and it is, well, the reason, the whole reason why we can be with God and be with Him, and why this this whole thing is just so much has so much grace in it, is because Christ died died for us just so we can be with him and he literally all all the sins of all the earth that ever happened got drained down on him when he was dying and the reason why he had to die is because well sin is terrible and in the bible it says that only only blood by death can destroy sin basically so that was really the only way and God died in the most gruesome and possible way ever but he did it for us and it was just yeah and he did that so that we may have grace so in in conclusion here the reason why I'm doing this is so you don't make the wrong choice. So you don't go to the place of gnashing teeth where, where torture never ends because it really is that terrible. So you can be with God and you can be with all your loved ones and so you can just love on God. Now. Another thing about this whole thing is it sounds like just a get out of health free card, but really it's not. Like you can't just believe in it and do nothing about it. You got just like what I'm doing right now. I decided that I don't want to sit around and just just believe just believe that God's real but not do anything about it. 
Because that is not what he wants us to do. He wanted us to tell others about him. And that is what I'm doing right now. I'm, even though this video might get very few amount of views, if just one person, one person kind of just plants a seed in their mind, like, and after time, the seed gets bigger and bigger, and then it sprouts a beautiful tree inside of them and makes them realize that, you know what, God is real, even if it comes years after. I know that I have done something good and that that one person might have not ever seen God or known about him if I have not decided to do this. And yeah. So that's basically it. it looks like I'm I finished just about 5 minutes early. But yeah, let's just play real quick. Uh Father, thank you for this time, and I just hope that whoever's watching this video will just get a seed planted in their mind and that they will know that you are real and that they are, they are a sinner and that we need to do something about it and we need to be forgiven so that we may be with you and that we can tell others about it. Okay, amen. Done.